G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works, I'm David. Today I'm going to repot this um, lovely Shinpaku Juniper. This is one of my display trees. Now you can see the beautiful actual trunk, it's actually quite stunning. Oh, I like it, I really like it. Um, it's got that, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got that, that tinge of brown, purple colour that you get in winter. It's slowly coming back, but that's what happens with um, Shinpaku if you leave them in the um, frost and the cold weather in Melbourne anyway. Uh, I know it happens in Japan too. Um, certain areas of the world get it, some, some don't, some do. Um, but yeah, that's what happens. Um, currently it's in this nice little round pot. Yeah, it's not too bad, I like it, it's pretty good. Uh, problem is, it's rock hard. And at the moment I can't, the water doesn't really penetrate. So when that happens, you can see good example, needs to be repotted. Probably been three years in this pot. So it's a small pot. It's a very healthy foliage tree. It, it it's, um, really grows well. It's under the display tree. So that's that's what that's what I've got to face me today. I'm gonna repot that. But I'm also actually changing the pot. So I had I had, I had this pot in mind for it. Um, this is a little bit simple and round, like it's a very smooth round pot, right? It doesn't kind of sh show the um, you know, it doesn't kind of um, go, I don't know, complement, I guess, the, the, the cragginess of this trunk movement. Like you can see the movement, it's quite you know, pronounced in some areas. You know, it's a very, very cool, interesting tree. It's a little bit too simple, smooth. So I've got another, I've got a different pot on, I'll show you that in a, in a little while. Um, but I'm going to first get this tree out of the pot. Let's have a look what the roots look like. As I said, I haven't, haven't probably did this three years ago or so. Couldn't even tell you. Um, Let's have a look how many wires. Oh, just the one. So just the one. Stick that out. Cool. It's just got one big hole at the bottom, so it should just slip out like that. Ooh, nice, nice, healthy. It's already starting to put it the yellow, nice white shoots, but it's rock hard. It really is rock hard. Even the screen came out, which meaning the roots have the roots have really gotten into that and really locked it in. So it just comes right in. All right, I'm just gonna now. I definitely need to use my chopstick to try and get into a top bit. Um, with display trees, you want to maybe just take it a little bit more gentle, I guess. Um, you don't go hacking away at the roots. I don't. I just take my time with these more display trees that are already bonsai So I'm not looking at removing a huge amount of roots. It's mainly to, um, to really dislodge a lot of this soil at the top because I want to get it and get the water penetrating. So I want to comb the roots out as much as I can. Um, also use this opportunity to clean out the, the weeds, try to find, hopefully find their root bases and get, get rid of them. So you can see I've pulled that one out. Their roots for the weeds are more white, white in nature, than, than you see, I don't know if you can see that, see how white that is? Yeah, so that's, 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 that's the weeds roots. The nice big wheat white one versus the brown of the shimpaku. So easy to tell what they look like. So you work your way slowly through it, through the tree, comb out as much as you can. I don't try and chop the roots with this, I just try and comb out as best as I can. Um, if I get stuck, I just move on to another section and just keep combing. Uh, being very cautious, not going to go super crazy. Because um, I want to comb roots out. I'm not, not trying to aim to, you know, cut so much off, you know, does that make sense? So combing the roots, finding the healthy ones, Finding the happy ones, <laughs> finding um, you know where the dead ones are, etc. So continually combing out the top bit, and then I'll move further down. So the more you do here, the more you start to dislodge all the roots. And the good thing is we start to really penetrate all the fine fineness of this mix. Good thing is these white ones are actually weeds. It's not the actual tree. So let's keep working our way. This takes some time, so we'll be back later to see the result. All right, everyone, so there we go. Oh, well, I've um, go, go, gave the roots a good clean out. I gave it a big bit of a hosing at the top, especially, trying to identify the weeds mainly and trying to get rid of those roots. Uh, good news is nice, healthy root system, nice, healthy roots. You can even see some of the new growth in the roots. So. Good timing. Haven't really seen too many deadish ones, so it's good. That means the tree's quite healthy um, and pretty much ready to be repotted. 
So that's all I would do today, amount of, amount of roots. I like keeping it. So this is the pot I'm gonna put it in. I really like the hexagonal view of the pot. I like the feet of the pot. Um, I think it'll look really good in this pot. I'll just point it in the direction of you guys, so something around in there. So let's um, let's try and get this into the pot. It's probably a little bit narrower at the top, but it's a little bit deeper. So health-wise, the tree's gonna be nice and healthy. It's gonna fill the root, it's gonna fill the pot quite nice. Something like that. I'm gonna try and make sure I get the right angle I wanted. Um, yeah, that's that's the pot I'm gonna put it in. And we'll see what it looks like at the end when I'm finished doing it. So I've got it already prepared, the wires in, the wires in to tie the tree in, it's all there. So let's get some soil. So I like the mount, I'm gonna bring the tree back to me so I can have a look. Um, So with this tree, I think it's also, you've got to put the feet at the pointy, so the pointy, the pointy bit has to be the front. So I'm going to go with that theory anyway, just like the round pot theory. And hopefully that tells me that is sufficient. That's my direction of where I want to see the tree. Now I mounted it up in the middle and you can see how I'm working the pot, the roots into that. It's a very, that's a good way to, good way to secure the, the tree into the soil mix and have it secure. Now I wanted to just slightly tilt this tree that way. So before it was leaning a bit too much this way, I want to actually go back, back a little bit this way. So that's what I'm planning on doing right now. And I'm just trying to make sure that that suits the tree well. All right, so I've secured the tree in its new pipe. Uh, we'll have a better look at the tree once once it's once it's finished and you'll see what I mean by all these curves trying to expose it. I'm just going to top it up with soil and then give it a water and we'll come back and look at it and, and have a look in detail of the of the tree. The back looks good from your end as well. But um, yeah, the other side of the front and we'll, I'll just finish it off and clean it up and work the soil in with chopsticks etc. And um, and then let's have a look what the, the tree looks like with a, with a nice watering and, and the placement that I've created. Alright guys, so that is what the tree looks like now. New front, new pot, new soil. You see a bit more movement in the tree, you see lower down. It is a little bit high, but I like it. It's very unique, like kind of looking tree. Um, but it's this beautiful movement trunk that I want to highlight. So, lovely tree. You can see the movement now a bit more in detail. front is somewhere look at that point there where that corner is so that's what the tree looks like now so I hope you guys um can see the change slight change but it's very important I think the pot really suits it now you know the jagged hexagonal with the with the interesting trunk movement is actually much more better suited I think um, there you go let me know what you think of this 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 new pot um, hope you guys like it um, and I did mention in a previous video, I've got a younger version of that I just repotted. But this one's much more interesting because it's a much more interesting trunk rather than a straighter trunk. So this is one of my display trees that usually goes on display at, at shows. So it's always, made, it's always a work in progress. Um, you know, keep, keep trimming it, keep thinning it out. You know, make sure the wires are right, etc. And enjoying this tree as it is. A nice display tree. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, stay tuned for more. See you next time.